MYOB entering a sale using existing information. We're in the sales command center and here are our main options. We're going to start with the most commonly used option and that is to enter a sale. So I'll simply click on that button and a new window appears. Now before we go any further just notice that some parts down the bottom are cut off a little bit but this is the record button and this is the cancel button. The reason it looks like this is we've tried to make this area as big as possible in your viewing area. It may look a little bit different when you use MYOB on your home or your office computer. So let's start with the customer. At the moment our flashing text cursor is in the customer field. If I want to choose from an existing customer I simply move to the drop down arrow and click and up appears a list of our existing customers. It also shows their customer number and it shows their current balance. I'm simply going to select one of the customers and then I move down to the use customer button and click it and the customer details are automatically put into the customer field. Their shipping information is entered and displayed in the ship to field. Also notice that by default, in other words automatically, their terms are listed here. Two and a half percent discount and their terms are to pay by the 30th after end of month. Also notice that this is ticked. This means that sales values are tax inclusive. Also notice that an invoice number is automatically generated. Now we could click in here and we can change that if we want to, but we won't. Today's date is automatically entered. There's a field here for the customer purchase order number. In other words, if your customer gives you a purchase order number that needs to be tracked so that they know what they're paying for when they receive their invoices, this is where you type it. This area here is where you can type in what it is that you're selling to your client. Then this area is where you can type in a salesperson. If I click the drop down arrow, there's a list of the salespeople that have been set up for this company data file. I'll cancel that. You don't need to enter that information. Here's a comment field, a comment that you can make to your client regarding this particular order. If you're sending goods, then here you can choose who the goods are sent with. Makes it easier for tracking later on if you need to find out where the goods are if they haven't arrived. You can put a promise date here. On the right hand side we have a subtotal, a freight amount if you want to charge freight. I click in there and I can type in a freight value. And then down the bottom here there's extra information that you can enter about the sale, particularly if a payment has been made. And then right down the bottom here we have the record button. Now I haven't entered information at this stage, I'm merely pointing out the various parts of the screen so that when we, when we make our sale next, you'll understand a little bit more about the fields that are available in the sales entry area.